Welcome back to part two where we create our modeling template from the Photoshop templates we created in part one. Um, to start, I did a reset here. Yes, we want to make sure everything's reset. Um, we're going to create our three planes. First plane here, um, let's create the front view. Uh, we're going to change the side size to 512, tab 512, hit enter. After you hit a number in here, you always want to tab out or hit enter, or else Max is not going to remember the numbers. For your length segments and your width segments, we're going to zero these out. Um, even by clicking on another place, we'll keep them. Um, zoom extends all. Not working. Hmm. There we go. Um, so now we have our front. Um, we're going to go into our material editor and assign, hit M for material editor and we're going to create our first map. This is going to be for the front. So it's going to be map, zombie, front, hit enter. It's always a good idea to um, label everything. Um, for this, you know, I don't, I'm not expecting it to get big and seen, um, but I'm still going to keep good habits and name everything anyway and it didn't keep the name, so let's try this again. Map, zombie, front. Keep the name now, yes. Okay, now we have this selected, so we're just gonna apply, assign to apply uh, selected material, we're gonna show in viewport. All right, now I kinda buzzed through that quickly, um, only because I'm gonna do it again for the side view um, so let's, we have plane still selected, let's create another plane. Let's change this to 512. Change this to 512. And click on this material. Next to the fuse, we're going to click on this empty box to apply a bitmap. Um, then you'll browse to where your bitmaps are, this just happens to be where it needs to be. And I'm going to double click on the side. Okay, apply to object, show it on map, and now I have my side object applied, which we can see if I rotate the view here, hold on, there we go, see it? We're going to adjust this later. Um, now, we go to our next material, uh, we should name this, map, zombie, side hit enter. Now we're going to come here, our next one, diffuse, bitmap, this is going to be our top, we have that there, let's name it, map, zombie, top, hit enter, now we're going to create another plane in the top view, change it to 512, 512, enter, we're going to apply, show in viewport, wait, cancel, what is that, um, we got this here, assign material to selection, show, now we can close our material editor, so now we have our maps, okay. The next thing I want to do that I should have done is I have the top selected. Go to modify. Let's name this um, zombie top template. Hit enter. Let's go here. Name it zombie side template. Hit enter. Go here. Zombie, front, template, hit enter. Okay, now we want to move our templates. The first thing I want to do is let's take our center template, uh, right click on the select move tool, and let's center this to the world. Okay, that's centered. Now we're going to pick the side one, right click on these, we'll center it out, uh, zero it out, centering it to the world. Now we're going to select this guy here, we're going to do the same, right click, right click, right click. 
now we know everybody's centered nicely. So we're going to take our top view and we're going to move it down because we want to be able to see it when we're um, modeling from the top looking down. So I'm going to line this up right with the bottom. See, I'm using this. I'm looking at this but moving it here. Um, so I line it up right with the bottom edge. Now I'm going to select this guy. I'm going to move him over. Actually, I want to keep him up here just for a second. Um, let's come to our top viewport. Hit F3 to show it. Um, I have this guy selected. And I'm going to move him uh, I'm going to move him front to back so he's pretty accurate. I really want his feet to line up well with his feet. So that lines up pretty nice. And now we're going to take this guy and we're going to move him back uh, to about here. And then we're going to move you way off to the side. Again, looking at the front view to line it up with the edge. Right about there. Okay. Now we have everything lined up right. A few more changes we want to make to our object because we want to be able to um, freeze it without it turning gray. If you look now, and I right click and I say, um, oh, video anomalies due to the capturing utility. So I'm going to use the menus. Object, show frozen in gray, right? Um, we want to take that off. We want to turn on back face call and we don't want it to be renderable. Okay? And we're going to do that for each one. I'm going to click on this, go back to object properties, um, turn on back face call, turn off show in gray, and we don't want it to be renderable. Um, and then we'll click on the bottom guy here, oh, click on the bottom guy here, and we do the same. Edit, object properties, turn on back face call, take off show in gray, this. Now what that's going to allow, the back face calling makes the object basically invisible. So when we rotate our object, we don't have these templates in our way. The last step that I like to follow is I like to select all my objects and group them. Group, and I'm going to call this zombie template. And finally, <laughs> last step, right? I have it selected, so I'm going to create a new layer from selection. This is your layers. Um, make sure our zombie's in there, he is, then I can freeze him. Now I can still rotate my view, but I can't select him uh, by accident while I'm modeling. So we're going to come here, hit F3 so we can see it, come here, hit F3 so we can see it, and we're going to hit G to turn off the, um, the grid in all of our views. And now we're ready to model. Um, see you in the next vid. Thanks for joining.